One of those things that I love about Disney is choice. Having the opportunity to kind of go from one spot to another, you walk into a park, you say, this is fantastic, maybe I'll go on this ride, oh, it's a little bit crowded, let me go over here instead. You bounce around. I feel like that's a, it's a really nice thing to have all in one space. Today we're gonna try a restaurant that I have been thinking about for a long time. A restaurant that I wanted to make sure I did some research on to make sure the timing is just right, and it is. Today, we're gonna look for some more sushi. Today is the day we're gonna try kimonos together. I'm very, very excited to try it. I did do my homework, found out that kimonos does indeed validate parking when you eat there, so we're here in the parking lot. Very, very excited to try this sushi. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this sushi. Kimono sushi spot that I have been hearing a lot about. I just, I'm so excited to try it. So excited. Hi, How sir. are you? I asked the server what her favorite was, and she said bonsai roll, spicy tuna avocado eel. Sounds really good. I think I might get more than one. We'll see. I'm pretty hungry. We'll see. I uh, definitely want to try a variety. Spicy rainbow roll also sounds super good right now. And miso soup. You know, it's getting cooler out there. Not that cold. I guess we'll wait till it's much cooler for that, right? So I've decided I'm definitely going to get the bonsai roll. But I'm thinking I'll probably just order that and then like order more as, uh, as I feel hungry. I feel like that's probably the best way forward. They've also got the Cajun roll, which sounds amazing to me, uh, and the bagel roll also sounds really good. Now I want to show you a closer look at kimonos. Take a look at those kimonos. <laughs> I like how it's got the uh, kimonos in the air there. It's so nice. You actually see they've got different designs right up here and way back there as well. We're sitting at a table kind of uh, in the corner here. I really do like it, kind of quieter, quieter area, but it's not a very large restaurant. It's got a couple spots over there. There's a bar over there and these benches here where you can also enjoy some food. They're not open right now. The benches are not open now, but I'm sure they will be again in the future. Here's a closer look at the menu at Kimono's. A lot of delicious looking items here. We've got the bonsai roll. We're coming up on it right there. There it is. Looks delicious. A little bit more expensive, especially for the uh, nigiri and sashimi. A little bit more expensive for those. But the uh, rolls themselves on the expensive side, but not super, super expensive. So I've seen, uh, I've seen more expensive sushi, no doubt about it. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what it tastes like. We've only got the bonsai for now, but if uh, if I really like it, I may end up getting something like the dragon roll as well. Oh, wow, that was super quick. Thank you so much. Found out from a very kind cast member friend that <laughs> Kimonos has a karaoke night. We gotta come back for that. We we must try that at some point. Sure enough, here it is, the bonsai roll. It looks delicious. You can see those fried bits on top along with the avocado packed with, I think that's spicy tuna in the middle. I am super, super excited to try it. Uh, eight pieces total from the, uh, yep, from the entire thing. But if it tastes, it tastes amazing, can't compete with it. So we'll find out together. No soy sauce with the first bite, bonsai roll, but have a tea. Oh my goodness, that was delicious. It's got this, not a, not a honey, but it's like a, it's a sweet sauce. I, I looked at the, um, the menu, it doesn't say on there. The sweet sauce on the bottom, kind of like <laughs> drips a little bit with it. Ooh, that's a very good flavor. Mm, 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 mm. Sometimes when I have eel in sushi, I feel like it's, it's overpowering. This eel somehow just goes perfectly with the spicy tuna. The flavors go well, so, so, so well together. Not too spicy, where you can't taste the flavor of the tuna. Really, really good sushi. This is a competitor for sure. Found out that it's eel sauce made in-house. That, to me, is incredible. That uh, sticky sauce I was telling you about on the bottom. Eel sauce with it, but it's like a super, super good eel sauce. Best eel sauce I've ever had, no doubt. The reason is they make it in-house. Talking with my very kind server about the next roll because I'm already thinking about it. It is that good. And before we start comparing restaurants and sushi, we're gonna try another roll just because it is that good. I'm between Alaskan and Spicy Rainbow. One of the two. It's gonna be happening tonight. I can't get over the homemade eel sauce. It is it is so good in the bonsai roll. I'm gonna ask which one has the, the stronger flavors between the two and then we're gonna get another one. I, I like the two you recommend, Alaskan or um, Spicy Rainbow. And here it is from Kimono's, the Alaskan roll. It looks incredible. Take a look at it right there. Got a lot of the crab on the inside, totally wrapped in salmon and lemon on top with kind of a, a green row on top. You see it's usually like orange or black. But now we've got kind of like a green row on top. I'm wondering if that's going to change the flavor. I see avocado as well. It all looks good. Here we go, Alaskan roll from Kimono's. Bon appetit. What a flavor profile. The lemon with the salmon and the crab. Somehow they've gotten this down where the lemon is not overpowering it. it. You know, you think in your mind, lemon, okay, you're eating part of a lemon, and you definitely are. There's thin, thin slices of lemon there, but it is not overpowering. Really, really, really good. The crab in there is delicious. It's much more flavorful crab than I've had before. Like we've tried crab before, absolutely very, very flavorful crab. 
I love it. I truly, truly do. Now, I know what you may be thinking, Michael, is this the best sushi at Walt Disney World? Maybe. When I think about other Disney sushi, I think Splitsville. Splitsville's got amazing sushi, but this is, this might be it. This might be the number one sushi at Walt Disney World. We gotta go back to Splitsville to kind of, you know, remind my taste buds what that is like, but this is unbelievable. Unbelievably amazing sushi. I can highly recommend it. The bigger question now, is it the best sushi that I've had in the Orlando area? It's close, but not there. The best sushi in the area still belongs to Katana's right by Millennium Mall. It is delicious. I mean, flavor unlike, unlike any other. So Katana's still does win. It does. This is, this could be second place. It absolutely could be. Love it. Not saying I don't like it. I do like it. It's just that Katana's is, you know, Katana's, but this is really good. Overall thoughts on Kimono's delicious sushi. Worth going out of your way for, I can tell you that, hands down. If you're at Hollywood, if you're at Epcot, if you're looking for some amazing sushi, I would come here for amazing sushi. That's what I would do for sure. That being said, if you do have a car and you're looking for the very best sushi that I have ever tasted, ever, Katana's by Millennium Mall. Between the two, the bonsai roll definitely wins, in my opinion. That was delicious. We will definitely be back. The sushi impressed me. It really did. But you know what impressed me even more? The service. Somehow the service in kimonos was just so friendly, so kind, so thoughtful. Really impressed me. Really, really did. We'll be back for sure. Good time for a wedding at Disney. Whole wedding party here, celebrating together right by Chill. They're, uh, they got some drinks here to enjoy. I filled up on sushi, so nothing for me right now, but yum. If the dining that you find at the Swan and Dolphin is any indicator what the uh, new dining will be like in the future part of this resort, the Cove, a little blurry right there, but right there, the Cove construction, I am so so looking forward to it. This is about as close as we can get to the cove at this point. But you can see the roof. It's got this, uh, I don't know what that is, like a double roof going on, one higher, one lower. Looks like kind of a balcony out there, maybe some special dining establishment. I'm so excited. And look, it's just, you know, we walk to it from, you know, here, here's the cove. You walk over here, there's the dolphin. And right next to me, there's the swan. So it's going to be here and it's going to be fantastic. That's my, you know, thought, my theory. The food's gonna be really good, but we've gotta find out. Now I know I'm still relatively new living in Florida, but every time I'm near a body of water and I feel like a stick, and they're poking out of the water, my mind just says alligator, just immediately. And I'm just like, it's not, I know it's not, but it's, <laughs> uh, we'll get used to it. It's amazing to me, this is a great nighttime entertainment here at Swan and Dolphin. You can actually hear guests laughing along with uh, their favorite music. This is cool, this is really cool. There are so many more things to try at Swan and Dolphin. Coffee shops, Java, I really do wanna try it. Too late and I'm too full at the moment, but another day. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day.